hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this structured organza this is just a structured detail you can use it to design your dress so i used an organza and a fishing line to achieve this so i don't have a dress form i would have styled it on my dress form so that you guys can see but i will explain very well so that you can understand how i achieved this so here are the materials that you are going to need for this tutorial i have my organza if you can find the very the very thick organ if you can get a thick organza it will be better but i couldn't find it but this one is manageable i have my fishing line and this one that i have here is 1.1 mm 1.1 mm so if you go to the market if you can find the one that is wider than this one it is better i think it would be better you can also use a tiny boning for this a very tiny boning in the market you can find it but a fishing line is better the tiny boning is like the half of let's say half of this normal boning if you can find it it is better so um first of all i will cut out the wideness that i'll be using first of all i'll cut 30 inches it depends on how wide you want your detail to be so i cut out 30 inches and after cutting that out i will go ahead and iron it very well so i am done ironing the next thing that i'm going to do is to hem the edge like the hemming will be very the hemline will be very 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 tiny very very tiny it has to be as tiny as possible the wideness should just be enough for the it should just be enough for the fishing line it should not be wide it should be very very tiny so i am done and right now i will start picking this organza by one one inch highest one inch so you can see i will fold and i'll go ahead and run a very tiny I will leave a very tiny space and then run my stitch you can see what i'm doing right here i have folded it just pick and then run a very you will leave a very tiny space and then run a stitch on the side so if you are doing this you can as well insert your fishing line now but it will be hard for some people so i had to finish picking before inserting the fishing line so you can see that i have a very tiny space this is the right side so after that first one i'll go ahead and pick another one you pick and you leave a very tiny space for the fishing line and then you will run a stitch so this is how i will continue doing this until i have achieved the wideness of the detail that i want so at this point i noticed that the organza that i have is too much i had to reduce the wideness of my organza so i will go ahead and finish picking the remaining parts of this organza so after doing that i will iron and i will hem the other edge so you can see what i have here i have my tiny tiny spaces right here on the organza and after doing that i will iron this if you are ironing iron with a low heat so that it will not shrink your organza so after doing that i will start inserting my fishing line inside these tiny spaces that i left for it so this will take time if you can add your fishing line while picking it is okay if you can add it while sewing it will be okay but I, like i said it will be hard for some people so i had to push it in after picking my spaces so if you are finding it difficult to push it through you can as well bring it out midway like if you insert to some extent you will pierce or you will poke your organza then drag the fishing line and continue from there so i am done with the first line i will go ahead and continue inserting the other ones so your spaces should be very tiny so that once you insert this fishing line you will not have excess space there so that it will give you that firm texture that you are looking for so you can see that this one is very hard at some point i had to pierce my organza from the center then i brought out my fishing line i had to drag it out i had to drag my fishing line out 
then from there i will continue inserting this fishing line from that space that i dragged it out from i will continue inserting it from there so using a fishing line is actually better because it is transparent if you insert it inside the organza nobody will notice but if you use a bone people might notice it will be so obvious that something is inside there but using a fishing line people will not really notice that something is inside the organza so at the end of the day this is what i have i am not done inserting my fishing line but you can see what we have it is already firm at this point i still have some empty spaces right there so right now you can structure if you want to structure you use your needle and thread and structure it on the dress like you will style it on the dress you will style it the way you want so i'll go ahead and finish up the remaining spaces and then at the end of the day this is what we have so if you want you can as well fold this organza like you can fold it you can see what i'm doing like you can double it this way you can fold it so that it will be firmer so that it will be stronger i don't know if you understand so you can see that i have doubled it like i folded it and right now it is stronger you can still use it to style or to design your dress it just you can just manipulate it the way you want i'm sorry i couldn't do this because i don't have a dress form i would have done that so that you guys can see but i hope you understood this tutorial so thank you guys so much for watching my video and please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so that more people can get to see this video you can as well follow me on instagram at so with ijoma i post shorts and useful tutorials on my instagram reels please do follow me on instagram at so with ijoma so thank you guys so much and see you all in my next video bye